This particular video brought tears to my eyes guys i can't show you the full video because of youtube guidelines but uh, in this video this guy was seen beating the living daylight out of his grandmother guys the amount of beating this guy gave his grandma will bring tears to your eyes and the first question i have to ask myself is who was the one in charge of recording that that's the first question i have to ask and the second thing i have to point out is what other city do you have to lay your hands either on your mother or on your grandma that is a big no no amount of big boy no amount of maturity in fact if you're a mature person you will know that Laying your hands on your grandma or your mom is a no-no. Other children are working hard, trying to better the lives of their mom, trying to better the lives of their grandma, give them life. Because these women have sacrificed their joy, they sacrificed their happiness, they sacrificed their life just to make sure that you become somebody. And then after all that sacrifice, the only thing you have to do to pay them and say thank you is to be the living daylight out of them. I remember having this conversation with my friend a very long time ago and uh, he kind of told me something about the difference between being raised by a single mom and being raised by both parents. And in regards, we are talking about South African men. So he was talking about, you know, the South African guys, the way they are raised is because of this whole single parent of a team. And I reminded him, I was raised by a single mom. Yes, but in my wildest dream, I would never lay a hand on my mom or even think of it. The fear of what will happen to me if I think of it will make me not think of it. And then he pointed out to me that the reason why I'm different from South African guys is because in my neighborhood, in my household, even though my dad wasn't there, I still had a father figure. And when I watched this video, it hit me. Yes, the reason why this guy did this and he's still alive and nothing happened happened to him he's still walking the street of south africa it's because there is no father figure to deal with him in my country nigeria i said this in the previous video that i made one person don't raise kids it takes community it takes a, a huge community to raise a kid so in that community if there is nobody playing the father figure playing the fatherly role trust me this kind of offense will keep on repeating itself and i, I don't know who this guy is i don't know from where he is but this video that i saw today it brought tears to my eyes because i know what people who were raised by their grandmom i know what people who were raised by their mom do i know the kind of hard work they put just to make sure that they provide something for their Mom. waking up in the morning and knowing that your mom has worked hard all her life to take care of you will always be your number one motivation to wake up struggle and provide and make sure that this woman reaps what she sowed. so imagine as a mother you've worked all your all your life you've done everything capable to make sure that you raise your kid well and then he pays you back like this how will you as a mother feel let me know down below guys because as i'm talking to you now my heart is broke my heart is broken into pieces my heart is shattered because i don't i can't think of i can't i can't i can't fathom what was going through that guy's mind while he was beating his grandma and then for the person taking this picture taking the video nah you are wrong you are in fact if the police are to be involved. The guy taking the picture should face the same consequence as the guy beating his mom. This is so heartbreaking. This is so heartbreaking. Let me hear what your thoughts are down below. And uh, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. I'm on the road to 13,000. So get us to 13,000. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.